Hey there, Papper people. You're asking yourself right now, God dang, Jason. Why do you look sexier than normal? The reason is the Knight's Bridge chin strap. Look, 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 look. I know we're not looking to win a beauty contest here. I know I look like the dude who's clapping coconuts together in Monty Python's The Search for the Holy Grail. I know this. I just don't care. Boy, and this is my trusty servant, Dawson. We myself, have ridden the length and breadth of the land in well, search of pop up people who will join me in my court at Camelot. Coconuts. You're using coconut. Right. What? Welcome to my product review of the Knightsbridge chin strap. If you would like to get one of these, I'm just going to cut to the chase right now. Go to dualbandchinstrap.com. And when you're checking out, put in discount code LANKY15, L A N K Y15, and you'll get. 15% off your order. This costs, as of right now, in the upper 30s, so you get roughly five to six bucks off. All that's out of the way, let's talk about this chin strap. Does it look stupid? Yes, it looks like I'm about to play water polo, which I did in high school. This is the most superior chin strap there is. I do have one gripe with it, which I will get to later, and it's a very small gripe. that can be fixed actually quite easily. Why is this better? First, let's go into why you need a chin strap. Chin straps, in my opinion, only need to be used if you're using a full face mask. Why a full face mask? Now, if I'm sleeping with a full face mask, I have my mask on, I want my face to remain fairly flat because this mask, let's face it, it's not gonna flex at all. So I have it here. If I stayed like this all night long, I'd be good. But the problem is I'm gonna relax in my sleep. When I relax in my sleep, my jaw is gonna open up more and it's gonna create space between the mask and my chin, I'm gonna get leaking all throughout the bottom of the mask, all throughout here. The chin strap is gonna to serve to hold my jaw in place. But Jason, you ask, Jason, why won't other chin straps work? Excuse me, Jason. Uh, Jason, why won't all the chin straps work? They're not gonna work as effectively because all of them work at a 45 degree angle. All of the other chin straps attach to your chin and they pull up and they attach up here, roughly a 45 degree angle. What this does is it jams your jaw back into your airway, causing more obstructive apnea. You're actually fighting against the pressure of your CPAP or bi-level machine, and you get some upward force. So you get a little horizontal force, you get a little vertical force. The Knightsbridge chin strap just provides you with vertical force. It just pulls straight up. That's the way your jaw wants to work, is up and down, this pulls straight up, not up at an angle. If you were to just take your hand and push back on your jaw, you're gonna block your airway. That's what we're trying to prevent. So pulling up makes sense. Now the inventor of the nice bridge chin strap, his name is Larry Shaw. He's actually a physicist. He has his PhD in physicists. He has his PhD in physics and he understands this relationship. He also understands once you grab the middle ball, you can start doing combos. Once you grab that center ball, Cracks me up every time I see it. Now I would not recommend the Knight's Bridge chin strap if you use a nasal pillow mask or you use a nasal mask. If you use any mask that covers up your mouth, that is when I would use the Knight's Bridge. If you just have something covering your nose and you have this chin strap on, you're still gonna experience this. And that's not what we're looking for. That's gonna disrupt your sleep. It's gonna collapse your airway. It's still gonna wake you up. It's not gonna be effective. For that, we use other methods, which I describe in another video. So with a full face mask, the goal is to have this point here fit right on the, right on the nasion, the part that dents in on my nose. And I want this part here, the, the, the lip of the cushion that bends up, I want that to fit right here, but I want my mouth to be open when it fits there. So this chin strap, it doesn't allow me to easily go past that. So if I just relax, that's as far down as it drops. And that's exactly what we want. We want our jaw to stay right in place right there and drop no more. So now that allows this to fit all night long. And we stay asleep, that's the whole goal here. Any other chin strap pulls up and in, it's a mess on your joint. Let's show you how to fit this thing. And then I'll discuss the one thing I actually really don't like about it. It's just one thing. Okay, first is you have to get a measurement of the circumference of your head because it really does matter what size you have. So easy enough, just measure the circumference of your head and you'll be able to figure out what size you need. Beyond that, on the back of this, we have this one strap. So you can do some fine tune adjustment. I found that for me, the crease just needs to fit right here. It's basically gonna create a snugness around here so that it's not gonna be able to pull up and come around your head, which obviously is gonna get the chin strap out of position. So then you just put this on. Once you have that size, once you figure that out, then you take the non-elastic strap and you wanna pull this to the point. This is like the last point you wanna have it open, which is right 
there. So I'm going to snug it up there. And then this one just provides almost like a gentle reminder to not allow it really to get to that point. So right about in there. You can experiment with this and see what the best position is for you, but I found that this feels about right. Move my jaw a little bit for talking, but if I try to relax it, it's not gonna fall any farther. Perfect. Let me show you the one thing I don't like, and this is mostly because I'm slightly OCD with this stuff. I like stuff to be even from side to side, and on this side with, this is all the Velcro for these straps to fit, you don't have that on the other side. So I feel like I have all this comfortable material here, but I have nothing on this side. Kind of drives me a little bit nuts. So what I've been doing is I've just been laying on my left side, so I have the pillow there, and I actually don't really notice it when I do that. Easy fix for the win. And if I'm laying on my right side, I don't really feel it because it feels like it's part of the pillow. If I'm laying on my back, I find I have to turn my head to one side or the other, otherwise it just it gets in my head and drives me nuts. OCD is a terrible thing. Again, if you want the Knight's Bridge chin strap, this is the best chin strap that's being made right now. I highly recommend it if you have a mouth leak with a full face mask. You can get it from dualbandchinstrap.com. Remember to use discount code LANKY15, L-A-N-K-Y-1-5 when you're checking out. And last thing, have you, have you used the Knight's Bridge chin strap? And if so, what was your experience with it? Did it help you resolve your mouth leaking problem, your mask leaking problem with a full face mask? Let me know in the comments section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Mr. Shaw over at Knight's Bridge, I really appreciate you sending me some samples so I could try it out. So once you grab the little ball, you can start doing combos. I heard really great things about it from people and so it's nice to actually try it out myself and see that yes, it really does work. It, really is superior. Last thing, if you wanna help this channel out, please use my Amazon affiliate link in the description box down below. I really appreciate that. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you'd like, it's free. And if you would like, if you're having problems with your pap therapy, check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com, and we'll see what we can do to help you optimize your sleep with CPAP, bi-level, or ASV therapy. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a great night, bye. Wow, you've got yourself a stinky mask. Pick up some Mask Bright. Today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Patricia Espelong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Matthew Lilly, and Mona Swearingen. And thank you to my other level Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members, especially Susie Balvez. I left you off the last one. I'm so sorry. Ah!